Hello to all my friends out there. So hopefully the camera is at a better angle. And hopefully it keeps going. So today I want to make I want to make a tuna on toast sandwich and I want to make a uh, tuna wrap in a tortilla. Um, so okay, I got up and I went shopping around at the thrift stores and I bought this lovely blouse at the Salvation Army lands end and a lot of times when you find stuff that is new and is on markdown or like if you find it in a thrift store there's a reason well this isn't the most slimming blouse I ever met but it'll do the trick okay what I'm doing is I'm buying clothes for myself and my son for two years I'm stocking up on everything I'm taking no chances I'm being cheap Oh, and it's the middle of the month, so payday, if you get paid twice a month, is coming, so that's danger time. Um, I've heard people mention uh, going to the uh, store and loading up. Uh, the, the problem is that then you're dispersing with a lot of cash, but, you know, it all depends. Okay, so the good thing about the, um, the thrift store shopping is everything is non-taxable. And they had a lot of these blouses, all different prints, but the um, thrift store price was $12.99. One half price would be, what, about $6.50, and that's high for a, a thrift store. But I thought, well, I'll buy one because it's a nice shirt, and it's okay, and I don't hate it. Okay, so now I want to make myself some tuna on toast. I have about a tablespoon of margarine, and so I wanted to make this because this is kind of the same way I make um, macaroni and cheese. So I just want to cook the raw taste out of my flour. So let's see, okay, so I want to buy uh, shoes, I mean I want to buy clothes for two years. So every three months, I buy uh, three shirts, two pants, and one shoes. Really, I don't buy, so you know, every other month I buy a pair of shoes. Can you guys see this? So mainly you just want to cook the, you want to cook the, the raw taste out of the flour. And then what I have in the refrigerator is I have some mixed up uh, powdered milk. I'm just making a little batch, just a big enough batch for yours truly. And this would be the same way to make uh, to make macaroni and cheese. And you would just put uh, macaroni after you add the cheese. So let me show you here. So you're saving 10% already. So uh, for three months, well, you know, thrift store, if you can find the stuff for a dollar, this is how I do it. And then also today, I bought these uh, Bahama Jack sunglasses. For two dollars. Okay, these sunglasses retail for twenty dollars, and they were pretty much like new, so I, I decided to take them because they were uh, two dollars at a thrift store. Okay, out here you have to wear sunglasses a lot, so uh, these are nice actually. Uh, so what I do is I keep them in my car, and they get all banged up and all messed up. So, okay, so now, uh, back to the shirt. Why I don't like to pay uh, $6.50 for a shirt at a thrift store, but it's a pretty nice shirt, so I did. Uh, because if you shop marked down 75 and 80% off, you can get them, you know, at Macy's or wherever they sell them. Well, they used to sell these at um, Sears, and I bought on clothes day clothes out for one dollar at Marshall's lands in the uh, 
uh, pants, and I sold those very reasonable. So, okay, if you want to do the, the eBay, the trick is you don't want to sell your stuff. This is my opinion. You don't want to really sell your stuff any where near retail. That's why people want to buy the stuff online because they can get an exceptionally good deal. Okay, I bought a Marc Jacobs jacket, $650, but if you wait around, you can get them for $200 at Macy's, and I took a bid at $50, which was a really good deal for the guy who got it. I assume it was a man. And it was a really good deal for me because then, you know, I, you know, had 50 bucks. And, I, and what I did is I sent it to them as quick as I could. So all I have here is butter. Um, this is powdered milk, any kind of milk. I usually use evaporated milk. And uh, flour, that's it. And I'm making a little white gravy. I use this in all kinds of stuff. You could put spam in this. You could put um, sausage in this. You could put chip beef in this. So it's really, really easy to make. But what I got was today, it is black bomber cheese at, and I already got into it at um, Grocery Outlet. This is like $6 and I got it for $2. And then I couldn't wait and I already ate some. It's very delicious too. Okay, so now. So you really need some, um, in your stockpile, you need some fish. You know, I've been studying up on this uh, meatless fo uh, food, and, and it's full of pitfalls. It really is. Okay, so I find this stuff to be pretty good. 69 cents a can, so I'm going to use half of it on my sandwich. And what I did is I squeezed all of the, the juice that comes with it out, and then I rinsed it and squeezed squeezed all the liquid out and so now I just want to put half of this can of tuna in in my white gravy for my sandwich it's gonna be a good sandwich too. it's cheap too so say 30 cents worth of, of tuna And uh, you really need salt and pepper on this stuff or it's really going to be blah. Let me make sure this thing is still going. All right. This is going to be very yummy. But some people are not into chefing. I have to tell you, though, I've been enjoying these chefing uh, videos. It's like uh, exercise videos. You know, you lay around and watch them cook. So I have some pepper and some salt. So if you can substitute a little milk and a little cheese for meat, that is really going to help. This, this gravy looks good. Let me see if I can show you. Without spilling it all over. Okay, so no, where's my cheese? I can't see with my sunglasses. <laughs> my $2 sunglasses are causing me grief here. Okay, so I will, uh, this is the good stuff. Uh, if you guys have any good tuna uh, tuna ideas, those would be greatly appreciated. So when I buy new, I try to buy 70 or 80% off. If it starts thickening up, just add a little more milk. Yummy. It, well, if you can find discount stuff, that, I don't know if the black part is edible. Does anybody know? It doesn't seem like it would be, but until I get word, I won't throw it out. <laughs> so, I want enough cheese so that uh, I have two pieces of toast. And what I do is I buy good bread 
on sale. Just like the good cheese. So uh, for the stockpile, probably the best is uh, powder. Let me see. I'll eat. I'll, I'll try to eat a piece. I don't know if I die. It stuck to the my tooth. I think it's some kind of um, wax. But it was a pretty good tasty wax with this cheese. <laughs> The trick is, is if you buy the good cheese marked down. That's the whole trick. That's all you got to know. Okay, so now what? Okay, so here's my toast. Okay, so now I want to put my toast on top of my yummy yummy. So this is a pretty cheap, cheap thing to make, but it's tasty. I won't know if this is a good angle or not until after. So I'm going to put quite a bit of this good cheese on. Yummy. Um, you know, I was making mention of this man's in blouse is not the most slimming. I am a short woman, but I'm not a particularly small woman. Never have been. Okay, now, 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 I want to make a tortilla wrap tuna. Okay, so what I have in here is a tortilla, but I don't want to heat it yet. Okay, so I have um, the other half of the tuna. So, you know, if we're going to be incredibly cheap, we have to be creative, you know? Okay, so in my tuna, for my wrap, I have lemon pepper. Haste makes waste. It would have been bad if I dumped that whole thing on. Uh, so if you guys are like me and have no uh, interest in becoming a chef, but if you watch those videos a little bit, it's really, really going to help your cooking. And so um, I made some tea. Okay, and the tea parties are not over. Oh, no, not even. So, um, like, I, I get these. You have to clean your sunglasses if you're going to wear used sunglasses. You'll get pink eye. Or syphilis. No, just kidding. Okay, so I bought these um, creamers. See how cute they are at the thrift store. It took me a long time to find them. Oh, I didn't like the candle. At night, I pray for my followers. All right. Okay, so now. So I just have some lemon pepper on this tuna. Let me see if it's... Use a little bit more. So one of the things we might be uh, low on is linoleic oil. So if you use a little coconut oil. Ooh, yummy, my tuna on toast looks good. No starving out, not in my house. So if you heat these a little bit, they taste so much better. And um, here's how I stockpile one of the ways, $1.99 only. And then today, I went looking, and uh, at 99 cent only, I found squash and uh, green beans for a dollar. And I found apples and uh, pears for a dollar. And I'll just go through and see if any are about to turn. And I'll make cooked fruit, and I bought this for a dollar, because you know you're all, I do a lot of dishes.
So by finding some pretty inexpensive uh, meals that you can eat one or two times a week, that's really going to reduce your money spent on uh, food. I just want to soften it up a little bit. I don't even really want it hot. Okay, so let's see. I think I'll go with my lettuce first. So I bought a Caesar salad kit, and I knew it was going to come in handy for something. But at the time I bought it, I didn't know what. So this will really be good with my tuna fish. If you get the good cheese marked down, it's going to make all of the difference. Okay, so now, I want to buy more of these. I like to eat on these, you know, like little plates. Okay, so I'll get um, some lettuce. vegetables that you have would be good. Okay. Ooh, yummy. Okay. What do I do with my little plate? Uh, here it is. Okay, I will start out with uh, lettuce. Not too much, but enough. And then I'll go with tuna. So you can see a half a can of tuna is going to make a pretty good uh, amount. And then I have Rotel tomatoes. Those can be used in place of tomatoes. So, you know, if you, if you grind them up in the blender, this can be good. See? And then my kit comes with cheese and salad dressing. me a dollar at 99 cent only. And I have the salad dressing that is tasty, Caesar salad dressing, so you don't need mayonnaise. All right, let's see here. All right. I better take my tuna on toast out. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> it is actually pretty hard to cook in sunglasses, but I'm determined. I went through a lot of hell to buy these today. I really did. It was Sunday. I didn't want to go to the thrift store, but I forced myself. Okay, take a look at this tuna on toast. Okay, that looks really, really good. Okay, now, I have chamomile tea. Well, I'll pour this direction. Uh, it took me a long time to find this adorable teapot. It's like a little honeycomb. I live for cute. Okay, sugar first. And then a little milk. Okay, so now. For one dollar, I bought this because this is really good with tea. Very important. Sometimes when you can get these type things, see this thing, it's like a cupcake, but it's not. It's a little, actually a little cake. Mm. 
It's perfect for tea. I like to slice this like, um, like uh, not in like not like a piece of pie. Ooh, yummy! And this one's really fresh. Look, <laughs> small joys, you guys. Well, let's start in the middle. So really, it's only going to give us about four. De Ooh. It's only going to give us four delicious pieces. That's okay. I'm going to eat all. F I will eat all four of these. Okay, look at this. All right, I will put these on my plate with my burrito. Plating is very important. Okay, now. You know, though, if you do take time to learn a little of this chefing, it really enhances your life. Because every day of your life, you have to eat. I, I can't say I really, really love to cook, but I, I have always realized you've got to eat every day. You have to eat a balanced diet of some sort. doesn't have to be expensive. Now, let's see if I can get my tuna. Ooh, this looks good. I, I had some pretty substantial bread. Mm. No wasting. Okay, now, that wasn't a good enough smile. Okay, now, now to taste this stuff. For all we know, everything I made tastes lousy, but I'm sure it doesn't. All right, still going. It was horrible yesterday. I want to show you guys something. If you get a chance to get any Chanel or uh, Versace stuff, grab it because it's going to be increasingly difficult to find, if you can even find it. And don't sell it now, just hang on to it. Okay, Life with Patty got a thousand subs. Congratulations, Life with Patty. Okay, so one way to save money, less meat. They want us to do that anyway, they want us to cut the consumption of meat. No wasting non-taxable food, stockpile, and basic food. That's really going to save um, money. So the tuna stuff I came up with was tuna sandwich with chips, tuna casserole, fish sticks with macaroni and cheese, and you would make your macaroni and cheese the same, tuna on toast, tuna salad, tuna tortilla wrap. Uh, and so we could substitute some milk and some cheese for me. Um, nuts, I'll be stockpiling those. Veggie, bean, and rice. And I want to um, encourage you guys to watch Homestead Tessie Mobile Home Living because that is why I bought the veggies and the fruit markdown because I realized that I could cook it down and freeze it. And that is probably enough fruit and vegetables for a week for $2. So if you find the place, places that you can uh, get stuff marked down, could I please find a knife? <laughs> all right, so now let me taste this. All right, first of all, I will taste my tuna wrap. So, uh, what one could do is make two meals at one time. That was good. Okay, now let me try my tuna on toast. It could be tuna on biscuits. The 
the good cheese makes all the difference. And this tea is so much yummier with these breads. Enjoy life. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.